Alrighty, let's watch this the full first. Very cool. It's a neat variation of a sit down because he is technically sitting down. You are mentioning that he is being punched. I mean, it's, it feels like, I don't know if it's a punch. I mean, you can, you have it through potentially this, right? That's something happened on his face. Could just be him spitting or something like through all of this and then wiping his face. But it definitely reads as a forced pushback through the, you know, a pushing or a punching, whatever happened off screen. That totally reads. I think I'd watch out. This is super picky and you will barely see this, but as it goes, there's a little bit of stroby poppiness in that knee. So watch out as it goes into that bend here and then back again. And even through here, you have a big spacing through there and then it kind of locks and then it continues. So lock over two frames, three frames, then it continues again to the right and then goes back to the left again. So watch out. It's just a bit stroby messy there. The other one seems better. I think overall, boom. Overall, it feels pretty good in terms of the weight and how he goes back. The only thing I would say is that he gets pretty off balance here, which obviously fine. He got pushed and punched. But given the speed, this in real time, how fast he goes back and the amount of off balance, you got that overall spacing that I put on some onion skinning here. If you have this and you kind of look at how far back that body goes and then here suddenly stops, goes to the left and then definitely kind of stays there. So it's kind of like, boom, not hitting a massive wall, but enough where I go, well, he must be hitting something to change direction. But this chair seems super flimsy. Especially once we get to here, you can see how light it is. And I like this. I like that the chair goes back and he has to hold it. I think that's all a really cool idea. I'm just not quite buying the physics and the mechanics of him suddenly stopping to go screen right and back. Like visually into the space screen right, but for the character to go back this way. If this was a, a like you know, whatever, stone wall, bow, hits this and then sits down. Obviously, this would not happen then at the end, but then I can buy that. Right now, this body, as it goes back, if you look at, if you track the uh, pelvis here, it just starts to do this, basically. So you're going to have to continue to go to the right, and it's going to have to end up being here, or you just move the chair over so he ends up going back into a, a drop arc to then land here. So you don't do this. But you do a bit more of that. So you might have to move everything, right? I mean, you can, you know, move him at this point, the root over and keep the foot and then lead into this. You can move him globally somewhere more or left so that he still ends up being here. Like whatever you want to do to counter that or make it work or move the chair. But then if you move the chair, then you have to work on those arms. But to me, it's just that moment here feels a bit wonky. But again, the recovery is cool. And there's also something if you're ready. Let's pretend this arc is correct. That would already be a moment of bam, the, the chair moving slightly. You know, watch out, you got the sections there. A slight rotation maybe in the chair moving back. This also seems a bit late in when it reacts. But that's cool. I definitely like that. Foot goes back, it holds on to it. The, the backwards momentum is being stopped by this leg being behind him and pulling or pushing this way, which you have. And then this one is for stable, uh, stable root there. I think that's all cool. The adjustments on the hands are cool too. I like that. Going back, a nice arc. And it's not immediately gripping, which I like too. I only have to bam that impact going back. The only thing I would say is here, that arm is kind of stuck in space here, even though it might be pushing against the backside of that chair. This feels something like a stuck IK arm here that then goes back. And then you can see here the chair and the hand, the loose kind of contact a bit. It gets a bit better through there, but I wish for someone that's like holding on to it that you would have a really tight grip on those hands for a moment. 
Feels a bit better on that left one. Going forward and then holding. That's cool there. Maybe a bit more of a tighter grip on the... Uh, what's the word? On the thumb there. I can see that slap in that screen left arm. Boom. But watch out. If it goes down, what is that arm stopping? Is it hitting the thigh here? But that to me is not enough for it to stop on that frame with an overlap on that wrist, but then to pop over one frame here. Unless you're saying it kind of slaps that thigh, but even then to me, that forearm will continue to go this way and be loosened and come out again. Versus that feels a bit sharp and fast through there. Same thing with the head. Head going back. Boom, right there. That down. Visually, you have... Again, I can put on the onion skin here. You got that chin going down, chin going down. And then it's on the same level. It has an overlap. You can see this here in the in the rotation. But visually, with that chin staying over a couple frames here. And suddenly popping up over one frame up. And the same thing here. You go up here, here, here. And then... Has a slight ease in, but then goes back down again. Just those moments. We'll play this again without scribbles in real time. I don't mind messiness. I'm all for messiness. That's totally fine. Why not? But it just has a slight harsh stoppage. You can see this in this line. And like I said, in that chin. That's cool. I like that. Especially the hole and that, and that moving over this way. But again... This, you got the nose here moving over. That's a horrible draw. Dots that I'm pointing, drawing here. But you can see this. If I go backwards, horribly, horribly falling this. And then this, if I put on onion skinning, you can see this hits that wall. Hey, it's, a, it's, I'll give this more of an arc. It's a bit flat there, an arc. And it really stops and goes down into something like this, like flat, and then now like that. So watch out for your spacing there. And some messiness here as it goes a bit. That's a bit messy there. You can smooth that out a bit. That's fine. Goes up and that's fine. I like that turn in the here, but then he has to push off. And as I'm, I'm totally fine with the pivot off of here. But there's something about that leg going back and then going back here over what, a frame and then stopping and then changing direction again. I wish it just, yeah, it's not that, it's not like it's a shock killer. I understand that this can be slippery. He pushes off and that's just enough to get him forward. And that's the foot that pushes him off, even though that foot roll starts to go off the ground. It feels like that feels a bit odd. I'm just looking at either this one maybe this one even though it can work right now to have a bit of more of a solid footing with a push off where you can feel the weight it's not constantly moving i guess it could work on this one because watch out for your one frame change there direction wise it also gives a bit of a harsh knee wobble what what right through there it's not crazy crazy but that foot move back is i would soften that but that feels like a strange foot roll up in the air and then for bends, watch out. You're getting close to bending to camera versus a slight bend away. So we understand the length and structure of that leg. So watch out for that silhouette there. And even on the exit, I would probably take this arm and start swinging it a bit more. So that we're in A, not stuck in front of that thigh for so long. And here, kind of riding that edge. But we, we just get the clearance right at the end, that one last frame. And I think we can go a bit bolder by we, I mean you. <laughs> it's the royal we. Uh, by separating this arm out from, from the hip section for a cleaner silhouette. Same thing with this. This feels like a stump coming out of his neck. Anything where, even on this, where you want to show a bit more of that arm with the bend. And then anything where we can see that bend and work on that silhouette a bit more. This feels like a strange silhouette through there. And that's kind of that. It's really cool mechanic though. I like it. And you said you have reference here, 50 ways to sit down. Kind of depart from the reference a little bit and push some moments. 
even animation wise watch out that foot has that angle this way all the way to here and if you need to push this a little bit maybe a little rotation banking off of this edge with a slight maybe lean or lead with the heel and then coming down and then rotating off to put this down and it could be either a bit more this way or this way again it feels like very straight towards us the foot this gets better here silhouette wise and structure wise but this is a bit stompy or uh, stumpy not stompy where we would see a bit more even this would help just something that's a bit, like even that we can understand that structure a bit better than this straight at us all right that is that this we have here a sidewalk it's very cool i think this all works really well the only thing i have to say this is probably just me if you can trouble check it feels like the spacing in the foot here starts to get bigger towards the end this is extremely boring for you to watch but if i do some very sloppy pointing see it feels like this gets and then bigger probably not also my my points are very messy there's something through here if you just double check that this is not getting slower i feel like my drawings are my dots are smaller space through there let's make sure that that is working so there's no slide i just feel like a slight acceleration towards the end we'll slow down in the middle and acceleration towards the end it could just be me as you go back we're whoa that's me moving my thing we go back with the foot and i feel like we're a bit too harsh on that stop you can see here the spacing is this and then this and then that we're kind of the same spot ish and then move over and i feel like we can continue to go back a bit more it's not to have like a crazy backswing but just a bit more so it doesn't feel like that immediate change from just watching this it feels a bit strong and I don't know if that's the foot. I wish that could be a stronger foot roll. Less than just the toes, but and it's tricky you know, quite how that works. But this feels like we're going fairly soon. Just after that passing into a roll. I feel like that could be just a bit later. I'd have to adjust the route down a bit for that. so we can go a bit further back with her arms i feel like we're stopping right there with a really strong forearm swing forward but i think we can go a bit further back again not that it's like it feels nice it's like it's not like oh there's something horribly wrong with the animation it's like mm, it feels like we're just stopping right there we can go personally a bit further back and at that speed it's almost like having less up and down in the roots it's a fairly fast-ish walk it feels a bit bouncy in that head, but it could just be me. There is also a, not this, not this either. I'm horrible at moving my own window. There you go. Front view. I really like the the side tilt as you come in, and then the compression, the ankles. If you look at the feet. That is really nice. Some nice fluid arcs there on the side, on those on the arms. It might have a little bit of a sudden fast move out that then flattens a bit i don't mind having a sudden change but it could just be a slightly continue with that arc just a bit more to come back into that just a bit it feels like a little bit whoop out not a pop it's not that egregious again it's nicely done but even in this view i feel like there's almost too much side to side with the body and the head mostly in the head there's something i see rotations up and down in the head but again, it's almost like it could be a bit smoother given the speed of that walk. This is super picky. Just like this, I would bring in that index a bit more. These are super picky notes. Um, I think it, it works. It works well. It's a nice walk. Again, like the light, what the feet are doing a lot. I'm just mainly reacting to this. The little up and downs being a bit harsh on that head same thing there and it's almost like she's also leaning slightly backwards almost like they have a little bit more of a lean a little bit of a neck forward just a bit just ever so slightly something really straight which feeds into the whole arm doesn't go further back than this everything's kind of a plank there with this a bit far back subjectively 
All right, I'm going to leave it at that. And these are the ones that you showed me. That's it. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.